Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing a painting for one of my Patreon members, Tina. Um, thanks for submitting the photo, Tina. If you guys want to download it, it's available for um, Patreon members and it's free. And so I'm going to go over the colors I'm using today as well as the canvas. So I'm painting um, this beautiful heron in silhouette on 11 by 14 double primed and stretched canvas. I um, pre-painted the canvas a dark charcoal gray and then I'm going to go over the colors. I've got a little bit of turquoise, a little bit of yellow, pink, black, and titanium white. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with one of my filter brushes and I've got this one here, number 16. What I'm going to do is just start breaking it down into light and shadow and the horizon. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of white. a little bit of yellow and I'll just start working on some of the clouds. So this is going to be really, really simple. Just get a little bit of water on your brush and paint. And I love these monochromatic paintings because I think they are really easy. All my students that are just starting find them really easy to follow along to. Okay, so just a few little dabs, wiggly lines here for the shadows or the the clouds here, not shadows. <laughs> and then it's going to be a little bit fuller over here on this side. So I'm just going to use the full width of my brush and then scumble. and start coming in with a little bit more white, soft yellow. And we're just simply going to slide and wiggle your brush. Don't forget to pick up a little bit of water when you need to. Because we're painting on a darker canvas, you may need to add a little bit more white for it to show up once it's all dry. And then it's going to start to just kind of fade out here. I'm going to pick up just a little bit of black turquoise, mix it with a little bit of white, a little bit more turquoise. And I'm going to start adding this with a little bit of water in between. It's going to dry darker than this, but we want to have it a little bit lighter than the charcoal gray background. add a little bit up here as well. We're just going to slowly build this up and you'll see it'll dry darker once I dry it off with my hair dryer. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of white, pink, and yellow. Make a light peach color. And I'm going to start adding that at 
over these clouds here. And then we're going to come back down here, leave a little bit of a gap there. And add a few more stretchy thin clouds here. And then right above the horizon. Blend across. Okay, I'm going to take straight light. We've got the sun, little half circle here. In this area really really bright some more white yellow and pink Play up on the color a little bit more in here. So it's sort of pastel, peachy pink to golden yellow and then to just white in the center. And just sliding over. You want to have those little loops, but you want to make sure that they're straight across. You're not going down like this. Okay, so now I'm going to start working on the horizon. We're going to have a dark line in between the sky and the water. And I'm just going to make a little bit more of that golden peach sunset color and I'm going to add it down here just simply sliding my brush side to side back and forth leaving some darker spaces we're going to have some sand in here this is just a little Quick little scumble, leaving some gaps or some little dips in the sand. I'm going to come in with a little bit of black, turquoise, and apply that.
along the side here. And add a little bit of white to it. So you primarily want to have more turquoise than black, obviously, right? And a little bit of white. And we'll be adding this to the horizon. Kind of has a hazy look in the distance there. This is still the sky the horizon right here, okay? And then taking a little bit more now on the water. Pulling from both sides. Gonna make the sand look more clay colored like by mixing a bit of pink yellow with that minty green okay and then we've got the sand here another little strip of sand there And then a little patchy scumble so it looks like there's little dips and shadows in the sand. Some white right down here directly below the sun, nice and bright. The next color I'm going to be adding is my dioxazine purple. I'm going to take a little bit more of my turquoise and I'm going to take white, turquoise, and purple. And we're going to make a beautiful shade of almost like lilac. Okay, we're going to add this to the sky. In between those colors. And over part of the water where we have the darker areas. is going to be really complementary to the peaches that we've got in this painting. Add a little bit, just kind of, just kind of dust over that sand. OK, 
Okay, then what I'm going to do is take black and purple, a little bit of turquoise in there. We'll add the darkest area, so just a line across here. over the shore. And then all the little footprints and dips in the sand here. A little bit more turquoise. Add a little bit of that in there too. It's nice for a cool balance to these shadows. You can always go back and add more purple in there. I'm going to take a little bit of white, yellow, and pink. Clean brush. And I'm going to come in and add a little bit more light to the water. Create a little haze around the sun there. So I'll take a little bit of pink and yellow, and go up and around. Soften a bit with my finger around there. And then I'm going to make that clay color again. A bit of white, turquoise, yellow, and pink. And we know we're going to have our hair in right about here. There's going to be a shadow in there. So I want to make sure that I get it right enough in here that the shadow will really stand out. A few more clouds.
we'll add a little bit of golden sunlight to the water on either side, keeping it nice and bright here in the center, of course. Okay, so let's start working on our heron. Actually, just one last thing. I want to add a little bit more to this sand here. I want to bring this up just a little bit higher. using a little round brush. Just use any brush that you feel comfortable with. And I'm going to get my brush a little bit wet. I'm going to use some black and some purple. And we're going to add the head here. Start with a half circle. And then pull out the beak. We're going to go down, slightly in, okay, so half circle, beak, down for the next skinny and then wider. And you'll create an eye shape. Paint it in. A little bit thicker here for the leg. And the other leg is going to come down right from the back tail there. I'm just going to thin that out with a flat brush and a little bit of water. The shadow that comes in there. So I have a shadow. A little bit of turquoise and purple. Give our shadows in there. And then black inside. You just don't want to make the shadow black, right? Your shadow should be a little bit lighter. I'm 
you pick up more of that clay color. Add a little bit of it around the side here to make the shadow stand out more. And I'm going to bright, brighten up this sun area a little bit. White, yellow, and pink. So I'm partially going over the sun and the sky around it. I'll add a little bit in the water as well. And then straight light. So these dark lines in the water are just little waves and breaks. So you can just add an indication of a wave in here. Gentle movement in the water with a little bit more purple. Okay, then I'm going to come inside with a little bit of yellow and white. Again, soften with my finger and then straight white. Dab a little bit of white on some of these other clouds here. And you notice once the paint starts to dry, it doesn't show up as much. So what I'm going to do is just mix up a little bit more of that peachy color. And add some of that there. A little bit more light to the sand. It's drying a little darker. Cut in between the legs of our hair in here. Bring in some more light there. 
before we have the shadow. And have a little bit of light hitting in between these little dips in the sand. Finish off with a little bit of turquoise and purple. Add a little bit of white to my purple here. And I'm going to call this painting all done. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye!